Greeks who, who uh, articulated pulmonary circulation for the first time going against the Gal oh, yeah, Galayan and, and like yeah. Ibn Hazm and um, Ibn yeah. al-Haytham, al-Khawarizmi, yeah. um, Ibn Sina. Ibn Sina as well, yes, yeah, al-Ghazali. Yeah, they yeah they, not, not so much Ghazali, he was... Um, well, Ghazali was the inspiration for the likes of Thomas Aquinas, so Thomas Aquinas is seen no, very... No, not, not Ghazali, yeah. um, Aber, who was that, Averroes? Averroes? Averroes is uh, Ibn Rushd. Ibn Rushd, yeah. Yeah. So, in terms of uh, those guys, if this philosophy was a Muslim philosophy that, oh, we only accept something just because uh, if it's in the Quran, uh, well, as Muslims, we don't necessarily say that we only accept something if it's only in the Quran. Otherwise, you wouldn't see Muslims learning science, learning English literature, le yeah, yes, reading like Dostoevsky, Tolstoy, Shakespeare. We wouldn't be doing all that. In the medieval times, yeah. Oh, yes. Islam was the leading... Um... Can I just clip this hair, yeah? Is that okay? What is it? It's just a microphone. Yeah, I know. Uh, so it can pick you up. So Because you always come with wisdom, Kenneth. <laughs> and I want the people to hear what you have to say as well, clearly. So, Kenneth, let's come back to your point well, I mean, then. What, you, basically, you want me to convert to Islam? And... Not necessarily. Uh, although, as... I mean, I, as you know. a as a um, ultimate objective, I would like you to convert because I believe it's better for you. It doesn't have to be now, it, because in my previous discussion with you, a lot of points that you say align with Islam, a lot of concerns align with Islam. A few points that you've got with regards to certain hist historical things, where I can tell you that if you tell me, for example, that X Muslims, X amount of Muslims burnt down a library. I well, would it was say the biggest university in the world at the time. Yeah. So then I would say that if that's the case from what you've read then that was incorrect. That doesn't can you now prove to me that that is what we're taught in the Islamic literature. That's what we're taught look to do. At, look at Afghanistan. I mean, you, you're giving me examples of places and people. Now, can, I mean yeah. Afghanistan. What about Afghanistan? Well, the Taliban are not very enlightened, are they? The Tali but whatever the Taliban doing, or the principle that you disagree with, I would ask you to evidence that from the Quran because that's what we're here to talk about, isn't it? Like, well, yes, I but they claim they follow the yeah, Quran strictly. I mean, if someone can come to you at Speaker's Corner and say, I claim to be a vegan with a cheeseburger in his hand. I mean, you can claim stuff, but yeah, yeah, but the, you have the, to evidence a, it, isn't it? It's a whole country. Yeah. It's not just a... It's a government. Oh, yeah. And it's a government that was propped up again by the Americans, the Mujahideen against the Soviets, because yes, I know, I know. Yeah, it met their, their ends. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's all well and good saying, oh, the Taliban are bad now, but oh, at the time of the Mujahideen, they weren't bad. Oh, ISIS are bad now. America just uses. Yeah, like, everybody uses. Uh, yeah, but uh, I mean, it, look what they're doing in Ukraine. You know, they're, they're using. I mean, if, Look what they're doing in Israel and Palestine. I mean, if um, in April 2022, just a few months after the war started in Ukraine, they, they, they were having a peace conference in Istanbul, and, and uh, Ukraine would have would have had everything except Crimea. Mm. You know, Crimea has well belonged to Russia since. 1783, when Catherine the Great took it from the Turks, but anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, the, the Russians, you know, quite reasonably want a neutral state. You know, and, and uh, what's wrong with that? But then, you know, when we start bringing in individuals and countries, I'm sure you'll admit Russia has committed war crimes. Where? In the Ukraine? Yeah. Not, not as bad as the Ukrainians. But they have committed war crimes. It, well, in wars, crimes happen. Right. It's virtually impossible. So you're saying yes. Now here's, here would be my response to that, Kenneth. If somebody now comes along and disregards the whole of Russia 
and their right to exist just because this is what they did um, and with regards to the war crimes that would be unfair correct so this is what I'm saying that you you know something happened in Nalanda you know this is going on in Afghanistan but the point that I'm trying to say is that there's a difference between Islam as a religion which is the perfect primordial method sent by God and Muslims who are fallible, weak, influenced, who are trying to follow it to the best of their ability. So yes, on the one hand, you might be able to find a case that, okay, here the Muslims are doing something bad. I will then say that, okay, if that is present in Islam, and well, that's Russia our... And Ukraine, they're not, they're not Muslims, you know, they're both. They're both well, they're Orthodox, Orthodox Christians. Orthodox. So then if somebody says that, oh, Orthodox Christians are committing war crimes in Ukraine, that I don't think is a good enough reason for you to disregard Christianity. I'm not. No, I'm just saying that yeah. I don't think, well, I don't particularly think the Russians have committed war crimes. But you said war crimes happen and there's, it's not illogical to say that some may have happened, correct? Yes, I yeah. mean, in wars, but I, I, think, I think Putin's tried to minimise the... Um, because he's interested in winning over the Ukrainians, you know. Yeah. You know, because they're, well, like here, I mean, uh, Ukraine is like to Russia, like Scotland is to England. Mm -hmm. or Wales or Ireland, you know. Yes. They're, they're close. Or, you know. but, but Kenneth, here's the thing. What do you believe happens when you die? I'll find out. Do you really want to find out? Or would you rather find out before and and prepare for it? Assalamu alaikum. Salam. How are you, Sheikh? You okay? Do you, want, do, do you want some Qadiani blood? Oh, it's over there. I, I've, I've already had... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, They're you already can. there. Alhamdulillah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Where is Ali? Uh, Ali, I think, is probably causing fitna somewhere. I'm not, I'm not too far off. <laughs> So, so let's say on the one hand, you'd find out when you die and you know the different, uh, the, the, the different kind of things that different religions say happens when you die. And another thing is you preparing, once, find, once you find out what the correct methodology is, the most logical methodology is, which I would argue it's Islam. I would say logically, be it even in terms of empirical evidence, philosophical evidence, logical evidence, and in terms of even applicability as well. I say Islam is head and shoulders above the rest. And I can uh, evidence that. But here's the thing, that if a person hears that, let's just say if you were convinced and you heard in that. In Saudi Arabia or most Muslim countries, yeah. they wouldn't be allow allowing Christians to do what you're doing here. But that, okay. doesn't, that doesn't mean Islam is false. Huh? That doesn't mean Islam is false, does it? No, but it, it, you're yeah. obviously... Uh... You can't do this in Israel, and Israel is supposed to be the only democracy in the Middle East oh, really? propped up by UK Israel's and US. Israel's uh, an aberration yeah, by yeah. anybody's standards. Well, you know, not, by you, yeah. uh, not by UK or US standards. Yeah, well, they just ha you know, have alliances with... Uh, yeah. And... Um, I, mean, I mean, well, there are lots of Americans who think it's a bad thing. It's about? A, a bad thing to support mm. Israel because, you know, there's more Arabs and Muslims yeah. there in, in that area yeah. who they've alienated by, you know, so, well, what they're doing now. Uh, I mean, the Israelis are committing <laughs> what they always accuse everybody else of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, exactly. they go on about the Holocaust and, and yes. all that. And they're having one of their own. This is why, Ken sure. this is why Kenneth, I'm saying we're more alike than we are um, unlike. <laughs> well, uh, as I said, uh, you know, I know a bit about Islam. I was interested in Sufism. But ra rather than Afghanistan, Saudi and these countries, which are Muslims trying to implement certain aspects of Islam, what do you think about the theology itself, the Quran, the Hadith, like the teachings of Islam, what, what issue do you have with that? Because that's, I think, where the discussion can become fruitful. Well, it's, 
it's like I'm not so sure it's for the West. You know, certain blocks. Have you heard of uh, what? I can't remember his name. He, he wrote about after the fall of the Soviet Union and all that that uh, the world would go back to kind of various blocks, like to be the you know Confucian, Buddhist, Chinese, the Orthodox, uh, the Muslim world in the Middle East, and uh, you know. Uh, Western Christianity in Europe. And, um... but I would actually argue that the, the, it's not only compatible with the West, but it's needed by the West. And here's the, here's the argument that I would make. If we take, for example, interest, interest is something which is well, it's a bit, I mean, in the forbidden. Middle Ages, the uh, Catholic Church and Christian Church yes. forbade it. Exactly. So, you know, it's just. But certain, after the Reformation, you know, the Protestants, well, Calvinist branch, they thought it's okay. You know, they, they allowed it. But that's why I'm saying when, when the Holy Scripture hasn't been preserved, anyone can write and put bits in, take bits out, then what you're doing is you're, you're playing with the canon. You're playing with something that comes from God. In fact, the Bible, they don't even believe, is the Word of God. The Quran, we believe, is the word of God, and the thing what we say about the interest is, interest is a walikum salam. Interest is a detriment to society, in the sense that what? Wait, what, wait a minute. How, yeah. how if people do lend? I, I would have thought it'd be excessive interest. I mean, if you're going to lend someone or some organisation some money, you're not going to do it for free, are you? But here's what we say. We say when it comes to interest. Interest makes society poorer. Reason being because when you give interest, the rich are becoming richer and the poor are becoming poorer. That's the yes, that's yes. the maxim, yeah. But, uh, the thing is, ha, ha, I mean, how would a company, for instance? We'll come to that. Just one sec. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got it you. Needs, you know, money, but it, I know. And I even know. the individuals need to borrow money sometimes. They do. They do. But I'll give you a few ways that even Muslims have. Uh, and do borrow money without interest nowadays. Yeah, and this is amongst their own communities. But before I get to that, when it comes to interest, you've got a rich guy. Who's already rich? A poor guy who's poor. Yeah, yeah. Now, he, when the poor guy wants money, he now has to fork out more money, which can fluctuate because of inflation. And that poor guy now can't invest into the economy because he now has debts to pay. So the rich guy is continuing doing his thing. Now, what Islam says is and puts and posits is sadaqa. Sadaqa is optional charity. Optional charity, you got the rich people, they give charity, the poor people get uh, extra money. Now, with the extra money, they buy more stuff, they can open more businesses. So, again, they're more involved and the economy flourishes. Interest inhibits the economy, sadaqa, charity, increases it. Now, if you say, okay, what about practically speaking? Daily Mirror, who is not necessarily a Muslim-friendly newspaper here in the UK, they put out a study saying the most generous people are the Muslims. And with all due respect, like I'm working, you used to work probably, or maybe you're still working, you don't want to give money away. So it's only through religion that you get that morality that, you know what, this. And it comes from God because he has the picture, we have the pixel. So that's how it is with interest. Now, if you're saying, look, what about borrowing? What about lending and this and that? There can be credible institutions that can say, okay, I will give you a grant because there are even some banks and certain institutions that give 0%. But what they ask for is, okay, but you need to give us this as a guarantee or there needs to be a guarantor. If something goes wrong, then we can do this. No, There's always way ar ways around it. Of, uh, Interest. Usury, you know, yes. it's, it's, uh, you know, it's not a good thing. I don't think. I mean, um, the Jews got, <laughs> they sort of always were involved in it. That's, That's why there's anti-Semitism, one of the reasons. Because they, allow, you know, um, would lend uh, money to princes and, and, that, and they'd, be, they'd appoint them as tax collectors, not a very... I've heard that as well, yeah. You know, in the past, so yeah. that's why, you know, they were expelled from about yes. 108 countries in Europe. Yeah, I've heard that as well. So, so Kenneth, so 
So Kenneth, this was the first point that when it comes to interest, feeding certain families and making the richer richer and the poor poorer, this is something that Islam can come as a solution. You mentioned initially, people don't know what a man is, people don't know what a woman is. You know, Islam yeah, but it is. It wasn't like that before. This is a this is new in Christianity. Every no sect in the past would accept. Well, even now, the Orthodox and the Catholic don't accept. Well, they don't even accept women priests. Well, some well, we're Only seeing a growing sects. yeah, we're seeing a growing amount even yeah, we're seeing a growing amount of Catholics, Protestants. Um, you know, delving more into this Church of England, got roped into it as well. But point that I'm trying to say is you won't see credible Islamic institutions en entertaining this idea because when it comes to family values, this is something that's not only intrinsic, but it's something which is... Uh, well, civilization's yeah. founded on it. It can't be otherwise. It did, but if the civilizations can't continue with that concept, then it can't be evidence. And if people are using those very books to say that, you know what, it's fine and it's okay, I think that doesn't show a very good case for that religion. I don't think the Orthodox, or, I mean, as I say in Russia, they, they, yeah. they, they don't, LGB is not, yeah. you know, they, they don't, um, well, they don't persecute them, but they don't, you know. But Kenneth, what's interesting is here in the UK, when you see any time in schools, they end them trying to push this forward, who are the people that are at the forefront, or at the forefront, trying to combat this? or trying to speak against it, or trying to educate people. It's the Muslims. The Jewish communities, they're very oh, the few Jews in number. The Christians. Yeah. I, I have to go. I've got oh, sure, sure, sure. Nice no, no, it's always nice speaking to you. Let me just take the microphone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's always nice to see you, Kenneth. Take care. Oh, I'm all right. How's it going? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, take this, bro. There's a few. Which one's my one? Is this my one? Yes, yes. The bald head is mine. Oh, Salam. 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 Yes, of course, of course. Uh, I, I don't know him. I don't know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you prefer it like this or like when I cut close? I just want to take a picture. Oh, yes, yeah. sorry, sorry. Thank you for all the work you're doing, brother. My I see pleasure. you on YouTube. Thank you're, you. You're like the softest speaker on here, but you thank make you, your brother. point very nicely. So thank you. I love bless you. You're, you're too kind. I mean, I mean, thank you. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. I mean, I mean, thank you, brother.